Alright, hello, 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 my cancers. Welcome or welcome back to the channel, you guys. It is me, True, from True Water Intuition. And I am here to do another cancer reading for my cancer collective, you guys. A quick heads up, I do speed through the shuffling here on my channel. I'm really hoping that it doesn't distract you too much from the overall message for those of you who are new to the channel. You guys, if these messages resonate for your circumstance, that's so amazing. If in the event they do not resonate for your circumstance, please don't give up on me just yet. Instead, feel free to check out another read on the channel, you guys. I do have quite a few for you guys to choose from, and I do feel that my readings are timeless. Although I do put the monthlies on them just for organization separation, but they are timeless readings, you guys. So please do check out any of the reading on the channel and see if you can find one that does fit your circumstance. In the event you are still unable to find something that resonates for you, thank you so much for stopping by and love and light to you all. All the information that you guys need is down below in the description as well as on the screen. So, y'all, I wanted to start with the Kiffer. It's been calling Kiffer. We're going to start things off a little bit different. Let's pick these up. I could have sworn something else failed, but we got community and gift. Some of y'all, I feel like you're moving into a new community. That's the gift. <clears throat> We got message of concern here. Some of y'all could have someone reaching out to you with some sort of message of concern. Number 14 is on this card, which is a number five. 514 might also resonate for some of you guys. Going to this message of concern for cancer. How does it resonate for cancer or apply? The lover, some of y'all, this is a message from a lover or a family member, a friend, whatever, someone who was closely connected to you in your energy. Number 15 on the lover's card. <clears throat> so that's a number six, maybe June 15th resonates mature woman flipped out in the reverse but being that these are like oracle messages i don't usually take them in the reverse number six is here i just said june 15th as well now i'm seeing june 14th um but mature woman is here some of y'all could be getting a message of concern from a mature woman this could be a grandmother maybe this is sending news about a grandmother some of y'all this could be a passing we got occupation here. Some of y'all did somebody you work with. You could be finding out somebody trying to get you fired on a job. This a new one, uh, a mature woman at that. Somebody older than you. Um, they could be jealous of you on a job because the lovers is here. So it's kind of giving me like maybe you're having experience in some sort of karmic connection with someone. So in some of y'all, this is either, as I said, on a job or it's a relationship where you feel like you at work 24, damn, seven cancer, Jesus. Like it's a lot of hard work to just deal with this person. Some of y'all are deciding to divorce someone or let someone know that you want out of a relationship. Yeah, journey, moving on, 10, a uh, ending. You're like, I'm done with this shit, packing up my bags, now I'm out of here, Becky. Okay, Baker could mean something to some of you guys. Um, the initials FW could mean something to some of you guys. Look, this person is concerned. Somebody is concerned as well, Cancer, because I feel some of you guys <clears throat> have matured. You've put in a lot of hard work into yourself and someone is now concerned that you didn't move too far away from their ass. That's why they running in with a message of concern. Message. 
They like, oh shit, I knew cancer was moving away, but I ain't think they was going to really move away. Okay, you told this person you was going to be separating yourself, you were moving something, but they ain't believe it. They was like, you would never separate yourself from them, cancer. This person was very immature. This person act like a damn child. I'm also hearing someone is saying that a child kept them from choosing you. I feel like that's what someone could want to talk to you about. That's what their concern is. Someone could be journeying to discuss this with you. Some of y'all, you could be the child, like I said, and you're getting some kind of message or concern in reference to a mother, an older woman, a grandmother, an aunt, something. Some of y'all, this could be news of a passing and someone is having to travel maybe for a funeral or something. My condolences to any of you guys experiencing something like that. Some of y'all, this is... <clears throat> Something has been exposed. Someone is concerned about you. Some sort of wealth connected to maybe an inheritance because child card is here with the wealth, sudden wealth card behind the scenes. Somebody did some sort of forgery, false person, tried to make it seem like this inheritance was for them. And I feel like this person is being found out. Some of y'all, this is a mature woman that did this and this person is concerned that they're going to be found out that you're going to find out some of y'all that's what you're finding out you're getting some sort of message about someone hiding fortune from you this mature woman i don't know but you're going to find out, and this is possibly going to be something that makes you put an end to this connection with the 10, move away from someone. Somebody is also, I'm hearing, like getting some kind of DNA test results with this message in reference to a child. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody could have lied about a child. And now the sudden wealth is kind of giving me will of fortune, like it was only a matter of time. Somebody is also feeling like they, they're they they're feeling like you were too mature for them. <clears throat> and that could be something that scared this person, this karmic energy. You were putting their energy to bring out their maturity. And this person was running away from this. This is who wants to send you this message of concern. Once again, I feel this person feels like they didn't, they didn't, like they weren't mature enough for you. They felt like a relationship with you was going to be too much hard work. You were going to require too much. 34 is on this occupation card. Number seven. June 7th, July 6th could resonate for some of you some kind of way. We also have 18 here, a uh, number nine, September 18th could resonate. July 18th could also resonate June 18th. Number 33, 33 could also resonate for some of you guys. Now I'm also seeing 333, but this person is concerned that there's been too much time, too much distance apart between these lovers. So is the flame still there or has it fizzled out? That's the concern here. Somebody wants another go round. They feel like they were connected to a false person. Now they see your high honor, your high regard. This person wants to change the outcome, change the narrative. They don't want this circumstance to be over. This person, person feels like they could have great fortune with you, Cancer. They think about you all the time. This person is going to be reaching out to you with a message. 
this is divinely orchestrated giving me off the courthouse and we're gonna start right here some of y'all are gonna marry this person okay okay that was fun <laughs> let's go ahead and get into some tarot now when we clarify i'm gonna use <laughs> what else does this person want cancer to know let's get into it right cancer so before we get into this can i just the top row alone can we just admire this okay i mean you out here winning that's all i could say some of y'all as we said before with the kipper this person is definitely someone who wants to marry you there will be marriage, okay? Somebody is wanting to work something out with you. They want to be victorious, want to be successful. Some of y'all, this is someone new, and they are looking at you as someone that they want a future with. Others of you, if you're not entertaining anyone new, this is financial for you. And this is a lot of success that's coming your way. I feel like this is you being very busy as well. Some of y'all feel like y'all too busy to date. You too busy to even have fun. I'm hearing cancer. So um, maybe back here in the past, you've been very focused. Okay. With this eight of pentacles and the six of wands on your goals, on your dreams. And now you you're coming up on some sort of time where it's time to see that it is you can let your hair down cancer dance okay have a good time enjoy yourself you can enjoy yourself you don't always have to be on guard on edge i'm hearing relax <laughs> take it easy some of you guys with this empress energy, this is what's coming towards you. You're walking away from disappointment, walking away from the old cycle. The old you. This is giving me a higher perspective here with the hangman. Detaching yourself from those who keep you stuck and stagnant. Some of y'all, if you're feeling some sort of stagnation in this time, it's because you're not supposed to be moving. Some of y'all are supposed to be focused on something else right now. And not, not being focused on movement with the six of wands. Not being so focused and consumed with when is it going to change? When is it going to change? It's something else you're needing to put your energy and effort into for now. Because I feel all is going to be revealed with this Ace of Swords energy. And I do feel that everything you want is going to fall into place for wands. So this is stability. It's security. That's what you will have. Some of y'all, this is, I have a desire to move, but I must wait 
Why? Because I don't have the money to do this right now, that and the third. Okay. Um, so you fear that you're not going to be successful with this. And so there's delay because spirit is waiting for you to change your mind. Hire your perspective. And know that you are worthy of being able to just get up and go if that's what you want to do. And you will have success no matter what. Because you're trusting in the divine. Ace of swords. That's what gives you peace. So now we got 444 four, four on the board. We got the four of wands, the four of swords, and now the four of cups as well. So you guys are needing to remain at peace emotionally and mentally because this is what's going to set a firm foundation for you external to yourself in the physical. So as long as you keep your mind under control, uh, check under control it it allows you to keep your emotions balanced and under control and it ain't nothing that you can't accomplish cancer that's the whole the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth about the matter if spirits say sometimes we we think oh spirit is telling me to sit still but sometimes it's your fear that's got you sitting still and spirit is like i'm just waiting on you To get out of your head about it and bust a move. Why so spirit can show up and show out? Others of you, as I said before, someone wants victory and success with you. This is communication that's coming your way. Some of y'all, this is communication coming your way from someone that's at a distance from you. Some of y'all been waiting on someone to come home, a loved one, maybe a husband, a wife, a child, a mother, I don't know, child, somebody to come home. This could be somebody who is overseas. This could be someone who is in the military or something like that. Child, I, I don't know why we pulling from this, but we're going to pull from it, child. We're going to see how juicy this how messy this read get because these some messy cards right here and it's been a while since i've touched them okay cancer some of y'all are dating i feel like y'all are definitely out here dating but i don't think that you're having sex i think that's what you holding back on you telling me you you going to bed alone at night. People might be wishing they could come to bed with your ass. Okay, they want to please accept my offer, my seed. But you like, nope. Hell no. Okay, that wound, it, it's a no-go. You, you done been burned too many times by trifling mofos. And you know your goal is this right here, Ace of Pentacles. So you like, hell no, you're not letting anybody else trick you out of your womb or your seed for my masculines, period. You holding it to yourself. That's why you out here radiating, uh, giving off a lot of sexual energy in this time. So a lot of people, you know, cancer, you could be driving their ass crazy unintentionally because you ain't even trying. Some of y'all like, I ain't even trying with it and motherfuckers is offering, okay? Some of y'all like, damn, I ain't even got my hair done. I don't even got my nails done. I don't even got my makeup done. I don't even whatever. You got on sweatpants and a damn t-shirt. Motherfuckers is all in your face, honey. Okay, I'm just saying, they own you cancer. They being drawn to that honey. Okay, the Empress energy out here being real magical. Hmm, you feel like you're looking for that wound. And you being very selective yourself, I'm hearing. Okay, you like, mm, if I don't like it, then you ain't going to deal with it. You're going to walk away. 
that's why I was saying in another read too, I think that y'all are in the energy of just walk, you ready to walk away from a person at the drop of a dime. And I feel these people know it too. Like they know. You know why they know? Because they can see that you are focused. They can sense your focus and they can sense your confidence. For some of y'all, that's what's attracting people towards you, like I said before. So stay in this energy. It's, it's working for you, Cancer. It's looking really good. I think as long as you stay into that energy, you're going to prevent yourself from having to walk away in disappointment from here on out. And it's like, that's what's happening. Spirit is saying there's no more walking away from disappointment. Now, others of you, let's get into this communication because that's why I pulled these out to clarify. Communication in regards to somebody coming in for cancer. So going into the hangman, we got the three of cups and the seven of swords energy. Who cancer? So these are the cards. Okay, I'm not gonna hold them up for too long, child. Um, but yes, somebody, some of y'all, this is somebody who wants to reconcile with you with this three of cups. Cancer, they want to play with your kitty cat. Okay, I'm just saying that's what they want to do, child. They want to play with that thing. For my masculines, this could be a feminine wanting to do some things to you in that way, too. We got the seven of swords. I hear somebody want to get nasty. Cancer, this could even be you want to get nasty with somebody, but you like you feel like you can't do that right now. You got to pump your brakes, okay? Like, it's some dirty little thoughts going through that head, but you feel like you got to pump your brakes. And those thoughts are connected to this three of cups fantasies some of y'all are experiencing these things though y'all out here acting out these dirty little thoughts child the four of wands is here cancer some of y'all this is definitely um uh, let's say you having some frustration within a relationship it's just sexual frustration you at you Cancer, you know how you get when you sexually frustrated and your partner is sexually frustrated in this time that's what this seven of swords is giving me too, because someone is unable to act out the things that they want to do when they want to be all up inside your cancer, all over your body, cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, but they cannot. And that could be the truth. So don't overanalyze a good thing. When you got a good thing going, you need to be the empress and understand or accept that you have a good thing. Recognize that you have a good thing before you have to lose that good thing to be able to gain the perspective at a later date that, damn, I had a good thing and I shouldn't have done this or I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have walked away. I shouldn't have been selfish. I shouldn't have taken this so personally or that so personally because now you can understand that it was just the distance, you know, or it was just sexual frustration, whatever the case may be. Some of y'all, there's someone who was very deceptive to you that wants to reconcile with you. They told you lies, seven of swords. They spun little webs. This could have been a third party situation. Some of y'all, this person was in a relationship so they was screwing whoever this four wands individual is this redhead child and they was screwing around with you child the brunette honey they was having their cake and eat it too and you had to cut this person off with the nine of uh Oh, with the nine of pentacles. This is the nine of pentacles. My bad. So, yeah, they were wifed up, booed up with somebody who they felt was the nine of pentacles because this person didn't realize that they was choosing a damn nine of pentacles over the empress or the emperor. Child, is you crazy? Have you done bumped your head, honey? See, they was caught up in the sex. 
the chemistry, the passion. They thought it was just sexual. With this person, they thought they could have it all. Money in the cars, cars in the clothes, okay? That's what they thought. Nine of Pentacles. This is the one you bring home to mama, okay? Maybe you like it a little kinky, Cancer. Maybe you a little freaky. Maybe you do things a little bit different. Seven of Swords. Your shadow shows in a different way. So this person felt like, well, yeah, um, there's a connection. There is something there, but they were confused by the sexual aspect of it. Hmm. So they was rejecting you with the four cups. That was behind the scenes, remember? They slept on you, Cancer, and they treated it like it was a fling until it came to an end. But now they want to come back into your world. Be careful. Some of y'all, this person is still deceptive, so be careful. Seven of Swords is right here, and I just saw it also behind these. So, some of y'all, this person is definitely still deceptive, and you need to keep this circumstance dead with the death, okay? Somebody, some of y'all, this could even be somebody who just wants to see your fortune. They want to shift your focus, take your focus so that you are no longer focused on this fortune for yourself. Or they want to be able to come in and spew doubts in your mind so that you start to doubt yourself. And this light that you have, this confidence that you have is going to die down. Go into this. Let's go into the board. Source is behind the scenes, Cancer. Somebody want to whip it, pull it, twist it. God damn, Cancer is the, what they think this is. Bop it. Whips and chains, handcuffs, smack a little booty up with my bell. Scream help. Okay, that's what I'm hearing now, too. Somebody say they want to spank it. Somebody want to pull that hair from the back. They like it doggy style with you, Cancer. Somebody say they want to be rough with you, child. Maybe some of y'all, this what you fantasizing about in this time. Especially if you feel like you ain't been able to act out these fantasies. F -f 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 Fantasy, I'm just saying. Somebody want to lick, 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 lick you from your head to your toes, Cancer. Some of y'all, this could be, as I said before, somebody that you are currently connecting with, but you're not being sexually intimate with their asses. Some of y'all got multiple partners or multiple people that you're dealing with because a lot of these folks in these cars look slightly different, child, okay? Some of y'all, I feel like somebody who was in a relationship with somebody <coughs> that they thought was that nine of pentacles, remember, they thought you was the bad girl, Cancer. And they thought this other person was that quote unquote good girl. Remember that Miss Nine of Pentacles, the one at home, the four wands. But somebody done found out that they was laid up with a slut bucket child. And this person feels naked. They feel vulnerable. They feel foolish. They feel very insecure. And they want to reconcile with you, but they feel foolish. They probably caught this this uh person that they were with child ass up face down literally somebody was deep off in that thing oh lord child messy it could have been a fight um uh, we got the ace of pentacles back here yeah this one they was booed up with they thought they was winning Ace of Pentacles in the Six of Wands, Cancer. This is why they want to come. They want to come back towards you, Cancer. But I feel like this person at first, like I said, past energy, they was wanting to have their cake and eat it too, child. They wanted the both of you. And this person was not going to pick. I feel like you wanted them to choose. Some of y'all could have been demanding for somebody to choose. I don't know. Whatever the case may be, Eight of Pentacles, you was like, look here, paying attention to the energy 
inconsistencies because it's this knight of swords energy you like you're not gonna keep letting this person come and dig off in you child okay and then go home to somebody else you was like no close the front door they was winning for some time and for some of y'all this person chose this ace of pentacles because they felt like once again that they were going to be winning but with the ace of cups and the four of wands somebody been getting love elsewhere these is two different masculines in these cards and honestly these two look like it could be the same feminine but different masculines but it could be the other way around somebody was in a relationship with someone who okay cancer you could have been dealing with somebody who was using using you for sex and this person was dealing with someone who was using them for money. Now they know how that shit feel. From a different aspect, but they know how it feels, Cancer. They learned a valuable lesson. And I feel like that's what this person is kind of looking at now, past energy. For some of y'all, this portion is not for everybody. But they looking at how they, they put material things ahead of their heart. And they thought that they were going to win, but they ended up losing. Now this person wants to put their heart first. And so they're saying that they want a relationship, a reconciliation and a relationship with you, Cancer. This is their truth. But I also feel like this person is too afraid to admit this. Nine of Wands in the strength. They need strength to admit this. So for now, they're stuck with memories of when they touched you, when they were inside you, fingers, whatever, mm. or vice versa. They thinking about how strong the connection is, how strong the desire is to be in that warmth, child. I'm just saying nine of wands, Lord. I just heard cream pie, mm, Lord. Mm. That's why I don't miss with these cards, I'm trying to tell you. But um, I feel like this person wants you to strip down, strip down, okay? All of them burdens, all of them, you know, don't just tr take your armor off. Take the drama off, okay? Take all of that off, Cancer. And be vulnerable and open to them. This person wants to be open and vulnerable to you with the nine of wands. They've been holding things in or protecting their heart space for so long. It's like someone is saying they don't even remember what it's like to be open and vulnerable because they've been having to be strong for so long. They've been having to put on a mask for so long. Some of y'all, somebody done found out some truth. They were in a relationship with someone who was giving that thing out to someone else, honey, and they feel foolish. That's why their ego has them guarded. Okay, pride. Somebody was married to the, to a whole child, masculine or feminine, honey. Somebody was married to a whole hoe out here in these streets. Now with the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Cups, this person really want to come back and offer some sort of apology to you. As I said before, they want to re uh, reconcile. You like, oh, me. Oh, I thought you forgot about me, child. Hmm. What did you do? Go off and get your little fucking heart broken? Is that what happened? Now you want to come back to the empress. Come back to mama. Okay. And, and get it off again. Ten of wands or yeah, like it's like nothing ever happened. Want to get rid of this load. Some of y'all, this person only wants to release their their hurt their pain their embarrassment they gonna nut it inside of you cancer i don't know any other sweeter way to put it they are going to ejaculate all of that into you and then they're gonna walk away like nothing ever fucking happened but you're gonna be holding that still in your energy so don't do it please don't do it for others of you 
I feel like this person is coming back in and they're saying, well, Cancer, you got the Ten of Wands, so you guard it. And even if you want this person to beat it out the frame, child, or you want to beat it out the frame for my masculine's child, you like, I ain't going to do it. Ten of Wands, you holding them, them, them walls is up, but you tempting this person. You like to tease this person because you know that it it breaks them, breaks their heart. It hurts, but in a good way, like a good hurting. You like to send someone home with the blue balls. Oh, my God. You see the blue in the back? Yeah, you like to send somebody home with the blue balls. And tell them to dream about it. Some of y'all did somebody knew they like you hurt me. <laughs> that just made me think of Prince. Y'all hurt me. Yeah, somebody wants you to hurt them, cancer child. Oh Lord. And you be sending this person home. I'm talking about seven of swords, blue balls, child. Kitty cat just be thumping, hurting, child, because it can happen for us too. I don't know if y'all know, child, please. Seven of Swords, they feel the pain. And they 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 willing to wait, though, Cancer, with the hey man. They telling me they willing to wait. Some of y'all, this is a reconciliation. As I said, they willing to reconcile, like wait to get that thing again. Others of you, this is somebody new saying that they will wait. But it's hard, honey. It's hard because they want to wax on, wax off, okay? But they're going to be patient. Because you didn't set these boundaries, honey, and you standing firm on them. It's not, this ain't the same cancer. If this a reconciliation, it's not the same cancer that they knew, child. And if it's somebody new, it, you still ain't the same cancer, whether they knew the old cancer or not. You said it's a death to the old me. They'll never be introduced to that one. They get introduced to the real you now, not your damn representative. Okay. But some of y'all, this person, when you do give it to them, child, they going to come quick. Knight of Swords. They ain't going to be able to last in that thing two seconds. Knight of Wands, nothing up the place. The sun, you going to have a baby. You don't see it coming yet. Oh, y'all having a lot of sex with the devil, the devil card. Some of y'all, this is Capricorn. Others of you, this is Scorpio and the death. Yeah, y'all having a lot of makeup sex is what I'm getting. For those of you, this is a new person. Y'all having a lot of sex with this person. And it's good sex, child. It's good sex. The sun, the moon, and the devil, it gets freaky. But I'm also getting like very sensual, child. Some of y'all having threesomes. Oh, cancer. Some of y'all say y'all not ready for a relationship as well. Some of y'all could be dealing with multiple people, but you're not giving them none of your kitty cat. The moon and the sun got like different partners too. So some of y'all, as I said, you, you communicate with other people, the devil. This is you operating in your shadow, I feel, for some of y'all. Operating in your shadow because, as I said before, your shadow is necessary, honey, and you got to operate in it. You can't just want to be in the light all the time. You got to have a balance of the, the two, the light and the dark, the sun and the moon. But it's just about having balance. And that's what I feel y'all are doing. So you're enjoying yourself, Cancer, for once. And you're not going to wear the burden of feeling bad for enjoying your damn self and not wanting no relationship if some of y'all don't want to deal with anyone. For some of y'all got your thoughts and you got your toys, honey. And you have your imagination with the moon. So maybe that's your obsession in this time. <laughs> Others of you could just be obsessing, reflecting on like past lovers and things of that nature for whatever reason, honey. Maybe you feeling extra horny in this time. Others of you, I feel like maybe someone is just thinking of you in this way. And so you're feeling that energy intuitively. Somebody want to put an end to the silence between you and them. Because they just cancer. They want to have sex with you from the sun up to the sun down. And this person is thinking about you obsessively. They having real naughty thoughts. 
That's why I said when you do give it to them, they come in real quick. They've been waiting on this shit for too long. Two of Cups to be up in you. Or for you to be up in them, child. They've been imagining them hands over their body. Yes, love, yes. Okay. And so when you finally put an end to holding back your sexual energy, they ready. They say they was ready yesterday. Same if this is a, a reconciliation cancer. They ready. Oh, child, this was a hot one. If these messages resonated for you, Cancer, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, feel free to let me know below in the comments how they resonated. And I'm going to catch y'all later in another reading. Until then, take care, Cancer.